ultimate source of consciousness is that subtle mind, subtle, mind. subtle con consciousness of mind. Uh -huh. So that continuation, that's as you as you mentioned, no beginning. The main reason that also you see momentarily changing. So that is the reason it must cause us. Among the causes, substantial causes and cooperative, cooperative causes. causes. So cooperative causes like eye consciousness, the eye organs are cooperative causes. But substantial causes is continuation of consciousness. So therefore, the human mind, cooperative causes the human body. But the luminosity, the luminosity, the luminosity, the luminous luminous awareness, the ability of awareness is the, the quality of mental consciousness. So that must come similar causes, similar causes at the, con at the, at the time of conception. Okay. Right. Conception. conception. Uh, actually, actually is it, I, I, want, is it, I want to know, is it the, uh, at the conception, conception. At, at the, at the mixing right. semen and the what's it, blood, egg. No. Egg. 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 Uh, so can you say 100% as soon as you see these two things mixed, that life 100% sure will develop? No. Or sometimes it may not? No, no sometimes, sometimes may not. Sometimes or not. then sometimes not. Uh, it just creates one question, question, there must be some third factor. Mm -hmm. uh, so physically, same case, mixed. No other defection, right? Mm -hmm. Defect. But it's the same sort of condition. Sometimes it eventually rotten or something. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, some is it then develop life. Uh, life. So in that case, the third factor, that's we, uh, the, I, I think those sort of school of thought is who, who have the concept of rebirth, rebirth. the consciousness, and uh, then life start. Now here consciousness, uh, different level of consciousness, the subtle consciousness, the previous life at the time of death, all grosser level of consciousness dissolved. So only the subtle consciousness, most in us, subtle, most the subtle consciousness remain. That depart from this body and another intimate because of state body, uh, not like this solid body, but a very light body, uh, have you see these sensorial experiences. Uh, experiences. Then when you see find, when you see the opportunity come. They here yesterday, was a, uh, Kishla, you see, mentioned karma. Karma also is a very important sort of factor. factor. Uh, but another factor is desire. At the time of death, tala chawa. Attachment chawa. to self. No. Chawa, so attachment to death, attachment to embodied existence. So that leads seeking one new body. Uh, then what kind of body, a new body, and now karma involved. Here I said that I was being very clear. So then, uh, so experience is part of mind, mental experience. So it is sort of substantial cause, must be something connected with mind. So karma theory now here involved. Uh, so in any way, uh, so that's the reason the, subs the mental substantial cause must be similar nature. The matter's substantial cause must be same nature at the beginning of Big Bang, even before. Today, our sort of bodies, ultimate substantial sort of causes, cause. is continuation, 
must be before Big Bang. Big Bang. And another Big Bang, another Big Bang, beginning this. So, <laughs> so, so I guess where as a scientist I would have profound difficulty is, is with two ideas. One is the idea of... I, I usually use a mix of... Addition. 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 Scientist up to now. Science actually. Should not say scientist. <laughs> oh, okay. Another sort of century, two centuries, three centuries, this scientific thinking. The scientific mind, maybe you see different. Maybe change, yeah. Yeah. Quite possible. So science has this ability, we, we, we never accept anything as absolute, so we constantly change and revive as better data becomes available. But right now, science has no way of explaining how... So the southern mind is one thing, but how memories from my previous life can be... Tra you die, that's it, you're dead, you're, you're gone. Your brain is dissolved into its constituents' mm. atoms. How can individual memories that we believe are coded in, in the brain, mm. how can they survive the death of the brain? We, we have no ways to explain like, that. Like. For us right now, it's magic. Oh. It's, it's like this, this cartoon where you have a, you know, now a miracle happens, oh, and okay. essentially my memory is transformed yeah. to hyperspace, and then, you know, a child that's born 10 years from now has my memories. We yeah. have no way to explain it. I mean, for us, it's pure magic. Yeah. As far as up-to-date sort yeah. of scientific way, right. certain sort of limitation. So, okay, you carry that, and some sort of mysterious things happen. Then, you, I usually see, tell you, this some my Christian friend. Uh, I think I mentioned before or not. Yes, the Buddhist business said. Uh, yeah, yeah, so, so, so. Oh, so like that. So, you can say, oh, that's your Buddhist business. Uh, don't bring <laughs> in a uh, sort of laboratory. So, I have a question of clarification. Yesterday we heard two times uh, that there is apparently also the notion in Buddhism then that energy is bound to mind mm -hmm. and that no. through this uh, fluidity there is some combination of material and mind always going together and now you said there is a stream of consciousness which is always there mm. and then you said there is a notion of reincarnation so that means information concrete information needs to go away. Now in our Western mind, the idea of energy or pure consciousness, light, uh, implies that there is not concrete information traveling, but just like Did pure it? light. So how Did do it? they, yeah. how that, do they that's true. So that's true, that they are the uh, もう、だんだん、しばちゃんのがるじゃね。だ、時代しばらくずつね、やんころころしんべるのとは。なるほど。ローンスのまず時代やえ、で、すぐに見えました。なるほど。この年の、で、エネルギーセティ。そう、よ
Uh, if the gross body can influence the subtle body, does it go both ways? Is it bidirectional? This moment, ordinary level, the subtle mind there, but inactive. So may not much sort of as the effect on grosser level of mind or physical. Then through training, through meditation, mainly through meditation and some other yogic sort of practice, the subtle mind becomes more active. The grosser level of mind has the more inactive. inactive no. Then through that way, the energy or power of subtle mind, then subtle mind energy become more stronger and rather stronger. More active. Yeah. Oh, more active. More Ob manifest. No. Obvious. Yeah. Uh, then, you see, actually, you see, control of the sort of grosser level of our feeling, all these things. So, but uh, the question of Christoph and Tanya was how memory information can be carried through that long sem that uh, from one life to another. So it's not really on the continuum itself. The yeah. memory is carried, yeah. Embedded the information, yeah. Yeah. That the Pajas, Pajas, Dita, Sik, this several Rashta Mesurgery, that some has this lot of chat, they should be Shibutrisha, Shibutrisha. Yes. And then, six and a half shadow was Shibutrisha, whatever. Jazanga. <音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音
when he, when he explained purely science, oh, then he said, now scientists. And put the scientist cap. cap. <laughs> mm? Then, you see, when he talks something about, you see, some of the Buddhist concepts, then he say, with now Buddhist cap. Buddhist cap. <laughs> <laughs> That's, yes. I think, I think yes. good. But I think it, it, it's also important to recognize that there are many things that are still even mysterious in physics, you know? Uh. Even something as simple as uh, gravity, uh. it's nothing we see. The forces of gravity, gravity is uh. still a right. deep mystery. You know, it's, it's something which is apparent, completely yeah. obvious, and yet what it is, yeah. is subtle and mysterious. And I think we want to make it be inclusive in this regard, with regards to the kind of phenomena that you're describing. You know, the, uh, the study of, in Western science, of the brain as a third-person object of research, the way we've heard from Tanya Singer and Richie Davidson and many other scientists that you've heard, is possible by virtue of the fact that it is an object. The subtle mind, it would seem to me, can never be an object. And so that would then mean that one would only have access to the subtle mind as the first person experience, the subjective experience of memory of a past life, clairvoyant perception, whatever those phenomena might be. So that would mean that the proof, if you will, or the conviction that there is a subtle mind and that these are true memories would lie within the subjective individual experience that I might have or you might have. Then there must be a different form of uh, validation of uh, showing that it's true. Validation. I also, you see, met two Indian girls, one about four year old, one six year old. Uh, see, there are sort of also the memory about past life. Very clear. So local newspaper reported that. So as soon as I saw that, I sent someone to thorough investigation about that. Then eventually I met both of them. Their memory about their immediate past life, so clear. Uh, the case of this four-year-old sort of girl, uh, her sort of past life also one student, one girl. So at the young age, both cases, young age is some excellently she died. So therefore, uh, that you see the four-year-old girl, the, I said, as a result of so sort of precise memory about past life, house and name of the parent and relatives, all these things. So then, the previous life's parent, still alive, they also accepted that girl is their daughter. So that girl, four parents. <laughs>